Hey there everyone, Ramesh here back again with another video. In this video, we will walk through the process of setting up your ChatGPT account and understanding the available pricing plans. Whether you are using ChatGPT for free or considering the paid version, this video will help you get started. Well, why setting up an account is important? To use ChatGPT, you need an OpenAPI account. Creating an account is easy and gives you access to ChatGPT's powerful features. Once you have an account, you can use ChatGPT to learn new things, writing articles, solving problems and much more. Well, one more important point here is, without creating an account, you can also use ChatGPT. But if you create an account, then you will get access to a lot of free features. Okay? Next, let us go ahead and let us see how to create an OpenAPI account. So here just open the web browser and in a new tab just type chargpt.com and hit enter. So this is the user interface of chargpt and if you look at the free version over here chargpt 4.0 mini. So this is the free version of chargpt model. Next in order to create an account go ahead and click on this sign up button. But before that without creating an open API account you can also access the chargpt you can see over here. So here you can enter the prompt. A prompt is simply what you type to ask ChatGPT for information or a help. It can be a question, a task or command. The better you, your prompt, the better responses you will get from the ChatGPT. For example, if you type here, explain how the internet works and hit enter. And here you will get the answer from the chat GPT. So prompts guide chat GPT to give you the right answer. Next, let us say you want to create a blog post. Then what you can do is you can ask for chat GPT like create a blog post on Python data types and hit enter and just scroll down. And here you can see understanding Python data types. So this is the blog post title. And this is the blog post content. So this is how ChatGPT will help you to generate the content for your blog post. And if you are not happy with the content, you can just add the follow up questions. Next, let us say you want to ask ChatGPT regarding the data structure. Let us say explain the array data structure in Java. Well, notice here the pop-up. Thanks for trying ChatGPT. Log in or sign up to get smarter responses, upload files and images and more. Well, if you want to create the account, you can just click on sign up. If you have already account, then just log in. If you want to stay logged out, you can just click on stay logged out over here. Okay. So this is how we can use ChatGPT without creating the account. If you create an account, then you will get smarter responses, upload files, analyze images and more by logged in. So if you are want to try the chat GPT for free, then just create an account and access all the free advanced features. Now let us see how to create an account. So just go ahead and click on the sign up button over here. And here in order to create an account, you have a couple of options like you can create an account using Google microsoft account or apple okay so here we are going to create an account using email id so here just type the email id so once you provide the valid email address that you check regularly next click on continue button over here and next choose a password that is secure and easy for you to remember next click on continue button Next here we need to enter the verification code. Well open the email inbox and just check for the email. It has a verification code. So here in my case I have opened the email inbox and here I got the verification code. So just lock, click on this email and just copy the verification code and just go back to again the chat GPT you know user interface and here just enter the verification code and go ahead and click on the continue button. And here you need to enter the full name. So here I'm going to give my name. You can give any name that you want. Next, enter the birth date. 
next go ahead and click on continue button now you have successfully created an account and you logged into the chat gpt next you can start using chat gpt immediately the pre version offers great features to help you get started if you need a faster responses and advanced capabilities you can explore the pro version as well next go ahead and expand this and here you can see chat gpt plus if you want to upgrade or if you want to get the pro version of chat gpt you can just click on this upgrade button and follow the steps accordingly and here right now the free version that is chat gpt so this is basically chat gpt 40 min version so the free version is great for beginners and casual users it provides access to chat gpt 40 mini version which is capable of handling most basic task including you can you know ask general knowledge questions or get help with simple problems for example let us ask one simple general knowledge question like what is the capital of india and just hit enter and notice here the response the capital of india is new delhi next let us say you want to get you know help with simple problems for example let us say you are a programmer and you want to write a simple python program so for example let us enter the prompt write a python program to calculate the factorial factorial of a number and hit enter and here you can see chat gpt provides the complete solution for this question or a pro problem okay and you can see here there are different solutions so this is how chat gpt will help to generate the code or solve the specific problems the free version can help you to write the essays or short articles and stories for example here let us ask chat gpt to create a blog post on python arrays and in a parenthesis you can tell chat gpt like produce the content which follows seo standards next hit enter so this pre version of chat gpt takes some time to generate the response because of high traffic but the paid version gives the response immediately it won't wait a longer because it's a paid version and if you can notice the blog post content over here so this blog post basically follows the seo standards like the title and the subtitles and the content looks good okay so this is how you can use chat gpt free version to you know generate the content for your blog post or the articles so this is awesome isn't it if you are not happy with the blog post blog post content then you can add the follow up questions like the improvement in the content okay so this is how you can ask chat gpt to create the or generate the content next just close this next let us see the other free available features so you can see attach files so here you can attach the image or the pdf files and tell chat gpt what you want from that attached file and here you can view the tools like you can generate the feature using chat gpt you can search in the web using chat gpt you can access the canvas using chat gpt and you can search in a web using chat gpt so these are the free available features in a free version of chat gpt so apart from this you can also access the third party gpts as well you can see the explore gpts option just click on it and here you can see the featured gpts so these are the chat gpts and that is created by third party companies well basically chat gpt allows us to create our own gpt by using this create button well this create feature is available for only chat gpt plus users that is for paid version okay and here trending so these are the gpts by chat gpt community 
and these are the GPTs created by chat GPT team and these are the GPTs uh, useful for writing the content okay so these are the free available GPTs you can go ahead and access them as per your requirement next let us quickly explore the pro plan features the pro plan known as chat GPT plus costs around $20 per month and offers several important benefits well I have been using both chat GPT plus and chat GPT free version and what I understood that the chat GPT plus gives more accurate answers or a more accurate response in a faster way but the free version sometimes gives the inaccurate you know information and the pro version that is chat GPT plus is ideal for professional student and businesses who need the consistent performance and access to the advanced AI models now you may have a question like how to decide which plan is best for you well stick with the free plan if you are a casual user who only needs a basic help occasionally stick with the free plan if you want to explore chat gpt's capabilities before committing to a subscription and upgrade to the pro plan if you use chat gpt regularly for work study or content creation upgrade to pro plan if you want access to gpt4 models for better performance and faster responses upgrade to the pro plan if you need a reliable service during high traffic times mm -hmm. so remember you can always start with the pre plan and switch to the pro plan later if needed okay i hope you understood how to set up the open epa account and the different pricing plans as well all right great i will see you in the next video